Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about piston rings and the role they play in an internal combustion engine and we're also going to be talking about blow-by and how that occurs. Getting right into it, piston rings really have three main functions. Um, so here we have our cylinder wall, here's our piston with these three piston rings as we have shown. Um, and the three major roles that these piston rings are going to play is that they're going to keep whatever is in this chamber, in your combustion chamber, out of your crankcase. They're going to keep whatever is in your crankcase out of your combustion chamber where you have oil. And then they're also going to help facilitate heat transfer between your piston and the cylinder wall. So your pistons are in contact with the piston rings, those are in contact with the cylinder walls, and that's how heat is going to be transferring from your pistons to your cylinders. So looking at the piston, you can see that there are three rings. So this top ring is the compression ring, and so that's helping to seal that combustion chamber so you get good compression, and so that you don't get any of that air and fuel mixture down into your crankcase, which is known as blow-by. And so your second ring there is kind of a mixture of both the top ring and the last ring, and that last ring is an oil scraper ring, and so it's helping to keep the oil out from the combustion chamber that's in your crankcase that's lubricating those cylinder walls. So you can see these little holes right here underneath that oil uh, ring, and so what those holes are for is they're going to actually pass that oil uh, through the piston back into the crankcase. So it'll scrape it down on the walls and that oil that gets scraped on the walls will pass through these holes and fall back into your crankcase. And so as I mentioned, this middle ring is going to be helping to scrape uh, oil on the walls and it's also going to be helping to seal the chamber uh, for compression. So how do piston rings allow for blow-by? Well, and this is a bit of an exaggerated uh, look into it, but here we have our cylinder wall, here we have our piston, and here's our piston rings. So on our exhaust stroke, when this piston is moving up, you can see these piston rings are going to be pressed down, and there's a gap behind them between them and the piston itself. And so your exhaust fumes and gases can get behind that gap. And then on your intake stroke, which occurs after your exhaust stroke, these pistons are then going to move up, and so as they move up and hit the top of the piston, those gases can now pass underneath them and travel down uh, and eventually making their way into the crankcase. So that's blow-by where you're getting gases from your combustion chamber and getting them into your crankcase. Now another way that you can have blow-by occur is passing through these piston ring gaps. And so you can see, you know, that looks like a fairly large gap. That's not actually how large it will be. Once it gets uh, compressed within the cylinder, as you squeeze this piston uh, down into the cylinder, that gap's actually going to be quite a bit smaller. It's going to be very small uh, as far as the gap there, but it exists nonetheless. And that gap exists so that this ring acts as a spring. So it expands out. Uh, and as the metals within the engine expand and contract based on different temperatures, you can make sure that you have good compression because this ring will expand out and meet up with the cylinder walls so that you have a nice uh, sealed chamber for combustion. Nonetheless, these gaps will allow for some of the air and fuel mixture and your combustion gases to pass through and get down within your crankcase. So what happens if your piston rings have worn out? Well, you're going to have two problems occur because of that. First of all, you're going to have low compression, and as a result of low compression, uh, the amount of power you make and the efficiency of the engine is going to go down. Uh, and you're also going to be burning oil because some of that oil isn't going to be scraped off and it's going to be making it into your combustion chamber. So less power and burning oil. So it's really not a great problem to have and unfortunately going in and replacing these is going to be expensive because you pretty much have to tear down the whole engine. So thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave those below.